Hey, this is Tashaka Armstrong with your next episode of Tech for the Rest of Us. And today we're going to be talking about Automatic. Automatic is the connected car app and dongle, uh, that word dongle. Uh, this is the automatic link. It actually allows you to know what's going on with your car when that connected or that check engine light comes on, rather. It will also connect to a host of other items which we'll talk about in detail toward the end of this review. So the first thing you're going to get when you purchase Automatic, which is a one-time purchase of $99, is you're going to get the Automatic Link. It's this little dongle here that plugs into what is known as the OBD2 port on your car. So once you plug that in and you pair it with the app, you're good to go. Let's launch the app now and take a look at that. This is the automatic app. It is a very straightforward app. As you can see right here in the app, you have your mileage that you've driven. It actually does it based on the week. So you can see how many miles you've driven up to that point in the week, how much money you've spent on fuel, how many miles per gallon your car is getting, how many hours you've actually spent in the car. And if you live in Los Angeles, that three hours and 30 minutes I've already spent in the car actually feels like an eternity. But that's a whole other discussion. Uh, you also see a map. You'll be greeted by a map that shows where you've been, um, where you're parked. You can look at it in a normal view, satellite view. Uh, if you're looking at somebody else, let's say you have a loved one and you want to get directions to where they're at, you can push the little man down here at the bottom of the screen and it'll give you walking directions to where that person is. This, of course, is me here at Fox 11 in Los Angeles. And this is the interface. This is basically what you get. You get a little uh, uh, dive map down here that shows where you've driven from for the day. And you see the car moves along here. Let's see if we can get that. The car moves there along the route you've traveled. I can see how many miles I've driven. I can see how much I've done in gas on that one particular trip. So a 25 mile trip this morning from home to work. I spent $2.66 on gas. I had one hard break. I went over 70 once and I had three hard accelerations. Um, going back to the top of the app, if you touch the little car icon here, this will actually show you if your check engine light is on, which issues you're having with your car. It will actually detail for you what the error codes mean. So you don't have to actually spend that $150 to go to the mechanic, to go to the dealership rather, and have them do their three billion point inspection to tell you all the things wrong with your car and how much money you're gonna have to spend. Automatic does it for you. Now once it does do that, you can actually hit this little nearby mechanics uh, link down at the bottom of the app and it's gonna show you mechanics in your area uh, with Yelp reviews. So you can look at that information, tap on a mechanic's name and it's actually gonna open up, give you a choice between opening up either Yelp or, um, here we go, let's tap the little icon here. It's going to allow you to open up Yelp or open it up in Maps. I'll save my Apple Maps jokes for later. Uh, you're probably better off opening it up in Yelp though so you can get those reviews. Uh, once we've done that, let's go back out of there. So again, that's your engine information. If you have an older car, an older model car, you're buying a used car, you can plug the automatic link right up to that car and see what uh, what those exact error codes mean. So you don't have to rush that car off to let's say a nearby mechanic to have them check it out, although you still should. Uh, you'll actually be able to see right there on the spot, private sale, what issues that person's car may be having, what issues you're going to inherit when you buy that used car. Let's look at this here. One of my favorite features of Automatic, the app, is License Plus. License Plus is something they've developed so that when you put that car on a, uh, put that dongle, the automatic link, on a new driver's car, it's going to coach them for 100 hours. One of the great things about the automatic link is it actually has a speaker in it that will beep at you. So let's go into the notification, I'm sorry, let's go into the audio feedback. So for instance, when you're doing that 100 hours with License Plus, if your young driver, let's say, has a lead foot and they take off from that green light a little too fast, the automatic link is actually going to play the sound. It'll play that sound every time they take off. Now that's for hard accelerations. If they go over a preset speed limit, in this case if they drive over 70 miles an hour, you're going to hear this. 
you can actually set the threshold. So let's turn that on. You can change the feedback threshold to, let's say if you're really conservative, you don't want them going a, a inch over or look over 65 miles per hour. You set that, you can see it's there now. It's gonna play that sound every time they go over 65 miles an hour. And hard brakes. One of the things I have teenagers, one of the things I've had to teach them is when to start braking so that they're not coming up to three feet in front of the crosswalk and trying to brake right before that. You can turn that on as well. And it's gonna play that sound every time they hard brake. So it is not only something that's gonna give you feedback about the state of your car, it is also a coach. It is going to coach your young drivers if you turn on the, um, license plus feature the great thing is if you don't need that if you're not going to engage the license plus functionality these things can all be engaged ultimately to save you money because as we know when you accelerate um, from a dead stop that is one of the things that costs you the most in gas revving that engine pulling off from those stop signs or the stop lights very fast that eats up gas so automatic can actually ask as a coach to help change your bad habits that you've acquired over many years of bad driving or driving in impacted places like Los Angeles. Uh, another feature of the automatic app is the ability to turn on the brief stops functionality. What that does is it says that, hey, if you stop somewhere for less than 15 minutes, and again in LA that can happen if you're on the 405, it's not going to treat that as two different outings. It's not going to treat that as two different trips, so you get different trip information. One of the great features of, of Automatic that I haven't yet seen on some of its competing products is Crash Alert. What Crash Alert is going to do is allow you to uh, use your phone number to actually, uh, in the event of a crash, because Automatic has an accelerometer, it's going to allow uh, one of Automatic's agents to call you. When they call you, they're going to wait for you to answer the phone, obviously. If you do not answer the phone, they're going to send or dispatch 911 to your location. If you do answer the phone, you'll be able to then at that point tell them if you need 911 or if you don't, and they'll cancel uh, that call for emergency assistance. Uh, you can also set three phone numbers, three emergency contacts in the automatic app so that in the case of a crash, they will actually call three people for you and let them know that you've been in an accident. So you're going to get a call to 911 from their agents in a case of a crash, and you're going to get a call to three of your emergency contacts. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. Also, you can store information about your car in the automatic app. Nickname the car if you have multiple cars. You can select the color. If your car supports it, automatic will even send a low fuel warning to your phone. The low fuel warning on automatic actually will precede the low fuel warning you get in your car. So you'll know a little bit before that light comes on in your car that it's time to get some gas. You can also put your license plate number in as well as the state information on that license plate. Set up multiple cars. This app is really, really robust. It's very cool. They've also gamified things by giving you a driver score up top that actually shows you your stats week to week to see if you're actually making improvements, which hopefully should translate again into savings on gas. Uh, one of the very, very cool parts about Automatic right now is they've actually teamed up with Nest so that you can uh, uh, connect Automatic to your Nest learning thermostat so that when you put the key in the ignition and leave your home, it will automatically deactivate the air conditioning or the heating in your home so that you save money during the day. You can also set the, the connection so that it knows when you're coming home. So if you need to have that house heated before you get inside, it'll automatically trip the Nest thermostat and turn it on when you're on your way home. Uh, right now, Automatic will also connect with another service called If, then, if This Then That, IFTTT. And you can set it to, let's say, notify Facebook friends when you get back uh, from vacation, when you get back from out of town. Uh, you can send text messages to loved ones to let them know you're on your way home from work. Any number of things. These are all called recipes on If This Then That, IFTTT. So automatic, $99 one time, really is a, a great product if you're looking to change your driving habits, save some money on gas, because we know these fuel costs. Right now, they're, they've gone down in California, but they're on a the climb. They're going back up. And prior, they were quite high. So 
if you have a large car or even a smaller car and you really just want to save money on gas, this is definitely a product worth taking a look at. Again, $99 one time fee, you get the automatic link and you uh, go ahead and you download the app, which is available for iOS and Android. Hey, I'm Tashaka Armstrong. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel here at MyFoxLA. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.